Hey all, Heba here. So uh, today I wanted to play some World of Warships Legends, and I haven't done that in a while, so I thought, well, I'll take out my secret PlayStation account instead of my Xbox account, uh, and uh, yeah, I decided to play the Hyoga. I mean, why not? Because uh, is there a more overpowered ship in the game? I don't think so, and uh, that's what this video is about. So uh, yeah. I just fired up my PlayStation, you know, and uh, you know, yeah. I don't have that many ships on this account, uh, just a few, you know, and uh, I got one of them, Wichita is another one, and uh, uh, I think Marco Polo as well, and uh, that's about it. So uh, let's take it out. Now uh, we can always talk about overpowered ships and ships that are too powerful for their tier, and uh, there's maybe two or three in the game, but one that's certainly too powerful is the higher guy. I mean, I still don't understand how nothing has been done to the ship so far. And even another version of higher guy, the winter version, has been, uh, you know, put out there and no one seems to care. So uh, if we just have a quick look at my build here, because it's nothing special really. I'm using Takagi, he's 16.2 here on this PlayStation account, so he's not maxed. Yachino and Cunningham, pretty standard, you know. All about dispersion this build here and all the normal perks here there's really nothing out of the ordinary and it works really well with higher yeah, funnily enough since uh, higher is already really powerful and uh, modules on the ship also standard so uh, 18 and a half range and 29 reload so uh, i played a few battles earlier today where i just got so many afk players all the time and uh, again of course we start out with an afk destroyer here but this is tier 5, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna give him 3. Hey, wake up! And uh, then we're just gonna move on with stuff. I, had a, I actually had a game before this in Yoshino, where uh, actually Big J was on the other, the opposing team. And uh, I started out with two AFK uh, players at my spawn, a destroyer and a cruiser. And uh, I just don't have the time or the patience to do that. I have to do videos, and uh, that's not gonna be a good video. <laughs> I promise you that. So uh, I'll just go straight into the cap and die a horrible death and move on to the next game. So if you're one of those players who, uh, you know, decides to play Legends and then uh, decides to walk the dog or, I don't know, spend half an hour on the can or something like that, well, you are really impacting the game. So would you please not do that? If you're going to play this game, can you, you know, just plan ahead for 15 minutes? It's not that hard. Anyway, hi again. And uh, this ship is silly, it's ridiculous, and uh, it's just way too powerful. <laughs> it is a Fuso, like, in name, but uh, it's far more accurate. And uh, I think, I don't know, Wargamer hasn't really confirmed this, at least to me, but I think it has better penetration as well. Uh, I don't know, but uh, it just hits much, much harder. And uh, you hit with more shells, like Fuso is a bit of a shotgun really, but uh, Hayaga is one accurate ship which we'll see in a minute here. So uh, as you can see we have like a very typical red team here. They are all abandoning this side of the map because this is where, you know, you know where people shoot at each other over on this flank usually. And uh, of course no one wants to be part of that because uh, why would we do that in a game that's about shooting each other? Let's all run to the middle of the map and uh, put ourselves in crossfires. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. <laughs> anyway, this happens all the time and uh, it's getting to a point where it is really annoying. But this is tier five, so whatever, don't care. I'm just playing here. Like you saw, I just fired up my PlayStation. I jumped into a battle and I only played one battle uh, because oh, I, just, I just don't have the the legends feel at the moment like if the battle doesn't turn out the way i want in the first 30 seconds or a minute uh, i just can't be bothered and uh, that's just the way it is and uh, the only thing that could fix that is if wargaming comes up with some sort of new uh, game altering addition and we're talking something along the lines of training rooms here we're not talking more premium ships we're not talking arena or brawl or anything like that uh, we're talking like a massive change that will improve the gameplay for people like me who has been with this game for four years and frankly have uh, you know gone a bit 
stale in the in what's what's on the table and it's because it's the same stuff that's been on the table for the same four years so oh yeah anyway hi again i don't understand why this hasn't been nerfed i don't get it it's uh powerful and uh, if you're a good player it's extremely powerful so uh for example let's have a look at this furious here because uh i mean he's 16 kilometers out and uh if this was Fuso, maybe I'd get one or two hits or something like that. But this is not Fuso, this is uh, Hyoga. And uh, of course, that's a one shot. Because this ship is just like nuts. So I, I bet that carrier player is a little bit surprised. <laughs> like, hey, what happened to my carrier? Oh, yeah, it's gone, mate. Anyway, now we have an Icarus. And that's another good thing about Hyoga here. Because it has so many guns. I believe it has 12, whatever it has. It has a lot. And it actually makes it efficient against destroyers, especially if they're broadside like this. Because it's so accurate and you have so many shells that they, even though they only do 10% damage, the AP shells, if you get enough hits, like I got four, four overpens here or whatever it was, uh, you will do huge damage to destroyers. And uh, it's a really good destroyer killer, really. Uh, as long as they're broadside and uh, you know you can get in like a whole salvo in, into them, uh, yep, it's a good ship. So this Nuremberg here will also find out what it means to uh, play with Hyoga up close. And I just like, I do have a level 16 commander on this ship, I realize that, but he's not maxed. He's 16-2, he's not 16-4. So the last two rows have not been, you know, fully maxed. And uh, my inspirations are level 6 and level 7, I think. So uh, I haven't even used any insignias on them at all, because this is like, a brand new account and I haven't really I haven't really spent much time on it to be honest so we pretty much cleaned up the side over here because like I said in the beginning everyone decided to leave and uh, okay well then go and do something else and uh, I just miss out on the kill on this Nuremberg here which is unfortunate because uh, that would have been my Kraken but so be it and then uh, speaking of Krakens like um, yeah this ship here just prints them and uh, I don't know how many I have in Hyaga, but it is by far more Krakens than any other ship in the game. Uh, it's partially because Cruiser is down at tier 5. They're just really bad. Um, none of them have radar and like I don't really understand what the purpose of Cruisers is down here other than being fodder for battleships. And uh, that's also why I don't really play anything other than Exeter down here. If I had a full broadside here, I would have railed that Icarus here. Unfortunately, another Kraken opportunity missed out on, but what can you do? I mean, I already used my two reload boosters because uh, I hate to finish a battle without using my boosters. So I just use them as quickly as I possibly can and uh, leave it at that. So uh, yeah, if, uh, if you play higher guard, just use your boosters. I mean, you never know if you're going to get torped by a DD the next uh, when you run rounding a corner and you're gonna lose out one, so you might as well just use it. Yeah. So I am moving back towards our part of the map, but first I'm just gonna get a high caliber of this uh, unfortunate ship here. And uh, it's like, I'm just sitting here, like far away from everything, just picking ships off in high again. That's what I always do in this ship here, and uh, that's why I'm I'm so surprised that like there isn't more, you know noise in the community about this ship here um because it's clearly too powerful not that i mind i don't really care i mean, I mean weimar is, is clearly too powerful as well and uh, no one seems to mind that so uh, why would i mind but uh, it is too powerful it's this is tier five and uh, this thing is just accurate like nothing i don't know it's and I mean, yes, it has a slow reload, nearly 30 seconds, but it doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> you can just absolutely rail the opposition with this ship here. And uh, Krakens come easily and, uh, well, with no, no real, like, you don't have to try very hard. Because um, you have super powerful ship, and if you have the same commander I do at around the same level with the same inspirations, you're going to do well. It doesn't really matter what happens, uh, as long as you don't, you know, get torped right off the bat. And uh, again, I'm gonna try to get a naughty uh, kill here. And uh, I haven't really lost any hit points at all yet either. So <laughs> it's a very interesting battle this one here, but this is nothing out of the ordinary down here at tier five, I think. And, uh, and as I was saying, 
because you also have fairly inexperienced players down here, um, you're just gonna have an absolute field day in a powerful premium ship like this with a fairly upgraded commander and man, maybe pretty bad inspirations. But as soon as I get those inspirations up, uh, this ship is going to be even better. And I, I can't, I'm having trouble imagining how it can even be better because I mean, you saw that carrier <clears throat> gone. Um, but it's uh, it's nice, it's satisfying, and uh, these things don't really happen that often at tier 7 and legendary anymore. I think there's just too much, too much overpen and like questionable me mechanics at play, and uh, yeah, I don't know. There's probably that too down here at tier 5, but uh, higher gear is just so good it just ignores it. <laughs> so uh, we got rid of that Italian battleship there because we needed to remove him so we can uh, concentrate on the last three battleships that are over at the A cap. Because uh, we've got C and D, we are far ahead on points here. So uh, all I gotta do is really, uh, you know, just sit here and wait. Because I'm kind of expecting them after they've taken the cap to, you know, come out of the, the volcano here. And like very nice rank and file all broadside, of course, because that's what you do. And uh, I'm just gonna sit here and then I'm just gonna pick them off. That's the plan. And uh, if they don't come out, that's also fine. We're just gonna win on points then. So uh, they put this, uh, themselves in a really bad position here. And that's, well, not partly, that is entirely due to the fact that they all left uh, the C and D flank right at the beginning. And everyone wanted to go over to the A cap and sit there and uh, what that means is they've completely lost control of the whole map, except for, you know, inside the little the little volcano there, where they can all sit and hold hands. And uh, if they try to come out, there is like three, four battleships, all just waiting for them, all salivating. And uh, I'm thinking, oh yeah, there's three in there. I just need two of them. That's a Kraken. And uh, I don't have a Confederate yet, but uh, I, do, I do have two Death Strikes and a high caliber. So, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not all wasted. <laughs> And uh, this higher guy here, he's, uh, he's a smart boy. Because uh, obviously I want to death strike him and I can, but uh, I'm not really uh, getting the hits I want here. That would have been a hit, but I think I aimed a little bit too far back. So uh, the New York is coming out. Excellent. That's what we've been waiting for. So uh, that means we'll at least get another kill. And uh, that should pretty much do it for this battle here. So uh, just aim for the waterline for the poor New York here, and uh, just you know he's really slow, so uh, just gonna lead by a little bit, and uh, just take half his health there. Yoink! And uh, Confederate at the same time. So there's two New Yorks now. I wonder if these guys are a division. Um, it's a little bit suspicious that they kind of you know left the same flank went all the way across the map uh, to go to a cap that was already taken and uh, then sit side by side and try to push their way out of the only opening they have left themselves themselves because this is this is their own doing and like I said this is tier 5 I mean you hopefully they'll learn from this but uh, I'm not gonna give them any uh, any chances I'm just gonna sit here and then I'm going to wait for someone to come out and make a mistake because like I said if they stay in here that's fine I don't care and uh, that was lucky like that guy firing didn't get the kill but uh, I surely will yoink taking that one so uh, that's four kills high caliber confederate two death strikes 150,000 damage in a tier 5 battleship I mean I play I play tier 7 and uh, if I get 150,000 damage at tier seven, I'm happy. That's that's good damage. But uh, this is this is this is tier five. <laughs> I mean, you're supposed to be happy with 80k down here, and uh, like it's rare that you will get less than 120, 130 in Hyga. And uh, I do believe I've broken 200 in the ship down at tier five. I can't remember, but I think so. I think so. If I haven't, then it's been 190 eight or something like that so let's call it 200 uh, I'll check that I'll check that uh, so yeah I mean it's also uh, a suspicious ship in the fact that I mean I always thought this ship seems very powerful 
So I looked up the stats for my Hyoga and uh, it outperforms my Yamato. Okay, like it does more damage on average than Yamato and it wins way more battles than Yamato <laughs> and it sinks way more ships than Yamato. I think the average is four or five, which is uh, nuts. So uh, anyway, that's the battle. Almost got a crack in there, unfortunately not, but 3000 XP, yeah, pretty good at tier 5. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it and nerfed this ship, and I'll see you out there.